Hey guys, it's Morgan from Feltec here, and today I'm doing a review of the Nectus 9. This isn't going to be a only in 2016 because we haven't done a full review on it yet. I was going to do one for the actual website, like a text one, but um, I never got around to doing it, so here's a review of the Nexus 9. So first off, uh, the build quality, um, obviously it's very similar to the Nexus 5, um, I think they were basing it around that, but then again the Nexus 7 also looks like that. Alright, so starting off with the build quality. So uh, it looks pretty um, similar to the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 7 in that it has the soft touch back and it has the Nexus uh, word in full or in the same orientation. It's a 9 inch display which means that um, it's a bit weird because I've been using the um, iPad mini or uh, the full iPad and it's like a in between because the iPad mini is a uh, 7 inch and the iPad, the full iPad is like a 10 inch so it's a bit weird. Um, I don't like typing on it, that's one thing I found out. I, it's like a weirdly sized keyboard, it's more like one of the notebooks that you used to get. So I don't really like typing on it, but um, it's an alright size. Uh, I'd say it's better for like YouTube videos and stuff, or just watching normal like films and stuff. It's good for that. Or watching fail tech! Or watching fail tech. Thank you, Rome. Alright, so um, one key feature about the front of this is the front facing speakers. Now HTC is very good at these, I mean, they were on the one NM8 and the one M9. Uh, they weren't brilliant on the one M8, am I right? That's true. They they're good, but they're not. They're too. They're not far enough apart. Yeah. Um. So f uh, as um, Ryan was just saying there, on the one M eight, they were um more pointing at your eyes than your ears, because of the spacing. But um yeah, on the Nexus nine, they're fully at your ears, and it gives you a pretty good like impression of surround sound, even though it's coming kind of straight at you, which is good because you don't have to cup your hand over the end of the uh, speakers like you did with the Nexus five. They're also really good uh, quality as well. I mean. They're not, obviously it's a mobile device, so it's never gonna be really good speakers, but they're all right, they're all right. They're, they're much better than most phones and tablets. So the screen colors are really good. I mean, I've got a background that's got uh, Skittles on it, and it really brings out like all the different colors. Yeah, it's uh, a really good display. I've never had any issues. All right, so the actual software, um, mine's running uh, Android 6 uh, Marshmallow, which is uh, really good because it increases the battery life. I mean, the battery life wasn't bad anyway. Uh, when I first got it and there was a lollipop, it would last me a couple of days, maybe two days at the most. Um, but now with those, it can I can leave it in my bag over the weekend, um, and it will still have only gone down by like two percent, which is really good. Because um, normally, if you left it for like a couple of days, it would have drained a lot. I can go the full week, full college week, without uh, actually charging it, um, and I use mine uh, pretty much every day to uh, take notes and to watch videos. Also with uh, Android 6, I haven't had any crashes recently. Um, I did on Lollipop, but they seem to have fixed out all the bugs that were in the... the, the. All right, so uh, when I updated to Android 6 from uh, Android 5, uh, they ironed out a lot of the bugs that were there, so I don't really get crashes anymore, um, which is really good. I don't think I've had a crash in at least a month, which uh, I think is probably a record for like any Android device, because <laughs> they're quite notorious for crashing a lot. But um, no, my Nexus 9 is actually really good. And um, the price as well. I mean, I got mine for £200 about a year ago, so you probably pick them up for about £150, £130. So if you're looking for a cheapish tablet, but not like an iPad or one of the older versions, and this is like, well, this is the newest Google tablet anyway. It's the newest Google tablet. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.